from ordinary to extraordinary, this Office PC got a facelift and now has all the bling and it can play esports titles at around 100 FPS. It all started here with these two Office PCs that were happy to be taken out of their misery and put to better use. The first one is a super basic PC with a 4th gen i5 and a GTX 750. I bought this a while ago for $80. The second PC is an Optiplex that is basically empty minus the CPU, this white Thermaltake CPU cooler, motherboard that is proprietary, and 8GB of DDR3. And I bought this as a local deal for $40. Let's take these systems apart, harvest parts from both of them, and get this transformation underway. Before we do that, let's have a word from today's video sponsor. Thank you Super CDK for being our personal supplier for cheap and legitimate Windows key. Head down below, find your desired Windows key. They have Windows 10 and Windows 11. Before you check out, use the discount code SPLA to save on that sweet, sweet green. To activate the key, you just simply copy and paste it into your window activation settings and bam, legit Windows key. Thank you Super CDK and let's get back to the video. Out of the first PC, we are only going to be using the motherboard and the 240GB SSD. I will be reselling all the other parts such as the i5, GTX 750, and the 8GB of RAM. Since I won't be using all of the parts, I'm valuing the parts that I am using at $40. Out of the second PC, we are only harvesting the CPU which is a nice i7-4770 and the CPU cooler. The motherboard is now ready for the case. The RAM I went with was a 16 GB kit of DDR3. Believe it or not, I got this for free as part of a bundle deal a while ago. The case I'm going with is this Cooler Master MB311L. I picked this up locally for $44. It's a nice micro ATX case with two ARGB fans, tempered glass side panel, and a mesh front panel. I'm also going to be adding some additional fans for more airflow, but we all know it's for the RGB. If you want to save on costs, then you definitely do not need to buy more fans but if you want to, then they're linked down below. Last and final part is the GPU. Nah, I'm joking, we have to repair it first. This is a GTX 1060 G1 gaming model from Gigabyte, and believe it or not, I got this for free as well. Shout out to Animal in my Discord server. He sent this to me a while ago and said it worked, but I never got around to testing it. He's not very active, but thank you, man. Bought the replacement fan shroud on eBay for $42.42. Let's hope it works after some surgery.
transformation is complete. It costs around $200 and a lot of love to bring you back to life. Let's quickly go over all the parts that make up this awesome gaming machine. Stick around to the end to find out how this new and improved PC handles gaming. For the CPU, it's the i7-4770 that's sitting in an H81 Asus motherboard with Corsair RAM. The case is a Cooler Master case, as I was saying, with extra RGB fans from Vetro. For the power supply, it's a 500 watt unit from EVGA. And the GPU is a Gigabyte GTX 1060 G1 gaming model. And it has that 240 gigabyte SSD, and I added an additional one terabyte hard drive for extra storage for all the games. Speaking of games, I jumped right out of the battle bus and into some solos. I'm testing Fortnite at 1080p with performance mode. Let's see what I can do. handled Fortnite pretty well, we got an average FPS of 158. Let's see how Apex Legends performed. I tested it in 1080p with load and medium settings and it averaged 108 FPS. The last easier to run title I tested was good old GTA 5. I tested at 1080p with all high settings. I tried not to kill anyone on my way to the military base. I tried to steal a helicopter, but failed miserably. I definitely need to work on my driving skills. Moving on to harder to run titles. I tested Warzone 2.0 at 1080p with low settings and only averaged 55 FPS. I then ran synthetic benchmarks on Borderlands 3 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, both at 1080p with high settings. This all started as a basic office computer, well, two PCs, and then it turned into a pretty decent gaming rig for the price. It can play esports titles above 100 FPS and harder to run titles such as like Call of Duty and Borderlands 3 around 60 FPS. All the parts used and some parts I recommend will be linked down below if you guys wanna check them out. If you did enjoy the video though, smash that like button. Watch this video next where I build another awesome budget gaming PC from used parts.